So you wanna buy a camera and you don't wanna spend too much. So I got a camera right here. I'm not gonna tell you which one it is, but later on I'll be getting into it and telling you why I bought this camera. I do have a DSLR already, the T7i Canon. And I wanted to get a mirrorless camera and I didn't wanna spend too much money on it. So I did a whole lot of research and I'll be comparing this camera to my other camera. And I'll also be giving you guys a link so you guys can get this as well and get a whole package deal. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited. I haven't even opened it yet, but that's what I'll be showing you guys today. So welcome back to another Dose of Joseph. If you're new here, my name is Joseph Henry and my main goal on this channel is to help you grow on social media as fast as possible, especially YouTube. I've been growing my YouTube channel super fast and I wanna give you the tips that I'm using to maximize my growth so that you could do the same. Comment the number of subscribers you have down below and I'll take a look at your channel and give you personalized tips on how you can grow faster. Also check out my YouTube growth tips playlist where I'll be dropping the craziest growth strategies to make your YouTube growing process super fast and super simple. Definitely drop a like below and also subscribe because I make videos like this one all the time. Stick around until the video's finished because I always put the best tips towards the end of the video to reward the people that stay. So watch until the end. All right guys, so I already got the package. I already opened it, but I'm gonna pretend like I'm opening it. I'm gonna pretend like I'm opening it. I'm gonna pretend I'm opening it. Oh my God. <laughs> but I'm gonna pretend like I'm opening it. I'm gonna pretend. T -t -t Today, Junior. I'm gonna pretend like I'm opening it again for you. Okay, um, I actually got this on Amazon. This is not, you know, sponsored or anything like that. So it's gonna be uh, super regular, but I saved a whole lot of money getting all this stuff at once. But yeah, this package deal came with the case for it, came with the actual camera. I won't, you can't see it. Um, yeah, we got the SD card. We got the adapter ring in case I wanna use other lenses with this camera. We've got a mini table tripod, like in case I wanna make any videos like on a desk or something. We got this cool bad boy, look at this. So this, you can open it up. You can put this on a desk or a table too also, but you can also hold it. So if I want to vlog or something like that and hold the camera while I'm walking outside, it could be a pen. Feel me? Look at that. Ooh, nice. Honestly, this is like Christmas because there's like a million things in this box. We've got a filter kit, three filter kits. We've got a, we got a chip reader. We've got a wide angle lens. A wide angle lens in case you want to get more stuff within your video. For instance, if you're taking like a really close up video and you don't want it to look super crazy with your nose looking huge. We've got this to clean your camera and screen and stuff like that. Is that everything? I guess that's everything. So guys, the moment you've been waiting for, the M50, the Canon M50. So this is a mirrorless camera. So it's different from a DSLR. Pretty much DSLR cameras have mirrors inside of the camera. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a tech guy or anything like that. But when there's a mirror within the camera, it takes more time to like shoot this and that. I don't know. But basically this is a little bit better because it's smaller. You don't have to lug around a huge obnoxious camera. Also, I have a tripod that's plastic. I gotta upgrade soon, but I would put on my DSLR and the thing would be like wobbling and stuff. But with this camera, look, I'm gonna pull it out right now for you so you can take a look. This is the M50 and this is the DSLR. So look at the difference in size. Look at that. It's like, this one weighs way less. This one is like huge and just crazy. Honestly, I don't know if I can bring this to other states because they might freaking pull this out of my bag. I might get arrested for trying to bring this to another place by plane. There's nothing wrong with that. The barrel on this is too big. I was just planning on shooting some- Shooting? Confiscated. What? No, I was just- High res. Not bad, I'll get some nice shots with that. This is just like, ooh, look how crit, like, it's so nice. Look, I don't know if you guys know about Think Media or Catherine Manning, the content bug, who's been extremely popular lately, but she actually uses this for her videos. Think Media uses this for his videos every once in a while as well. This actually shoots 4K, 720p. The only thing that sucks with the 4K on this camera is the fact that it actually crops a little bit. So if you're taking videos really close up to yourself, it's gonna zoom in a bit. But it does shoot 1080p for 60 frames per second. If you wanna do 120 frames per second, it does 720p, but it has a whole bunch of different options options and if you do want to shoot 4k the option is there for you so it is really nice if you're shooting 4k it only does 24 frames per second if you're shooting 1080p you have a vast majority of options you can do 24 30 and 60. So this is what it looks like up close. The cool thing about this is it has everything that a DSLR has packed into this smaller camera. It also has a viewfinder, which flips both ways. And the cool thing about this is a lot of the cameras that vloggers on YouTube use, they don't have a microphone jack. This one does, and I actually use a lavalier mic, which you guys can see in my other videos, I always connect to my shirt. So this is extremely useful. You've got your record button and you also have your photo button. And you can actually change in the settings if you don't wanna use the record button because it's too small or something and you wanna be able to quickly click this, 
You can actually change your settings to make this button both take photos and start your video. So the package deal comes with all this stuff and it came out to $585 on Amazon. And if you wanna just buy the camera alone, it comes out to $499 at Target or Best Buy or any other electronic store. That's like the general price range. I'm actually gonna hop onto the camera right now just to show you the quality so you guys can see for yourselves. Tofu for you guys that don't know. We've got sweet chili sauce on it. We put cornstarch and flour and we fried it, so it's gonna taste just like chicken. If you guys don't know, I am vegan, so I actually don't eat any meat. But we get really creative with our meals. I just wanted to pop this in the video and try to change things up, do a little vlog style. Hey, look at this, oh my God. Ooh. <laughs> All right, back to the camera. So this is the camera quality. Wow, this is crazy. So one of the cool things about this camera is that it has autofocus for your face and it's super fast. I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing right now. There's like a square around my face and it's just following it. So the autofocus feature for your face is one of the biggest features on this camera. It's better than a lot of cameras out there. And this is actually the camera mic that I'm using. So you can judge the mic on this camera based on this video. So I've seen a whole bunch of different videos before I actually got this camera and I saw the quality and stuff and I learned a lot about the features within this camera. And that's what really made me decide that this camera is probably one of the best that you can get on YouTube. It also has a really good stabilization feature and a lot of mirrorless cameras have really good stabilization as opposed to DSLRs. Yeah, so this camera died in the middle of my sentence and that actually brings me to my next point the downsides of this camera so through my copious amounts of research I found out that mirrorless cameras actually have smaller batteries because the camera itself is smaller so it can only hold smaller batteries so it actually dies more frequently than a DSLR would because they have bigger batteries but this is an easy fix literally just go on Amazon and buy yourself a couple more batteries they don't cost that much and if you're ever going out you're gonna work on a big project or something like that definitely bring those other batteries it's not really that much of a big deal another downside is that apparently mirrorless cameras have the risk of getting dust on the sensor. Apparently something about a DSLR with a mirror and stuff, there's multiple layers within the camera itself so it protects it from dust, but that's not the case for mirrorless cameras. So if you're ever switching your lenses or something like that, just be cautious of that. Don't let dust get in your camera. But even that is not really that big of a deal. So honestly, overall, you're really getting a bang for your buck with this camera, especially with the bundle that I mentioned to you guys. And I didn't show you this before, but it actually comes with this other lens. So it comes with a total of three lenses. The one that's actually on the camera right now is 15 to 45 millimeters. And it's the actual Canon lens. But it also comes with this lens here, aside from the wide angle lens, it comes with this one, which is a 52 millimeter lens for your far away pictures and videos and stuff like that. Another feature of this camera is that it actually has Wi-Fi connectability so you can actually transfer photos and videos from this camera to other devices very easily through Wi-Fi. So that's a really cool plus. And also side note guys, if you're gonna get a camera for YouTube, definitely get yourself an SD card that has 128 gigabytes or more because especially with HD videos, it takes up a lot of space and you can end up losing memory and having your video stop while you're recording, which I've had happen to me countless times. So if your camera doesn't come with that, definitely get that. This one came with 32 gigabytes, but luckily I already have two SD cards that have 128 gigabytes. So if you're looking for a camera that's not too obnoxiously big like DSLRs and ones that are not too small like the Canon G7X where you actually lose features like the mic input or the quick auto facial focus and also the perfect price for your pockets in 2020, then the Canon M 50 is 100% the way to go. Comment below your opinion on this video quality, the mic quality. And also I did something a little bit different with this video and I kind of moved around. Comment below if you've been watching my videos and you think that I should do more videos like this. Especially if you guys watch all my videos, I want to know who you guys are. Definitely comment so I could talk to you, get to know you and see who's really down for the count. Real quick, if you like this video, definitely like below. Also subscribe because I put out videos every other day. And if you're looking to grow fast on YouTube like me and want to learn how I was able to get to over 8,000 subscribers in a matter of one and a half months, then definitely check out my TikTok videos because I grew super fast on TikTok and I teach you guys the strategies that I use on how I can grow a fan base on TikTok super fast and then transfer that audience over to YouTube like I've been doing. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do decide to get an M50 because of this video, definitely comment that below as well. Peace out, guys. See you in the next video. Boom!